Welcome to the seventh quarterly report detailing the progress made by NASA's Ares Projects Office on America's next launch vehicle. Last quarter, we reported on Ares One's fabrication of the upper stage barrel panels and a new test stand being constructed for Ares One use. Testing continued from last quarter on wind tunnel models, first stage parachutes, and preparations for J2X power pack testing. Wind tunnel testing continued this quarter. A 1% scale model was tested at Langley and Boeing. These evaluations are being used to develop the aerodynamic databases needed by Ares-1 engineers. A new series of tests began on an active damper system for wind tunnel use. This system improves the data gained from wind tunnels by absorbing vibrations caused by the tunnel itself. In another Langley facility, work continued on the Ares 1X rigid buffet model. This 3.5% scale model is equipped with more than 250 pressure sensors. Another model was tested to examine the heating and pressure of the Ares 1 first stage during re entry. The results of these tests will help engineers design the first stage thermal protection system. A second drop test of the first stage main parachute was conducted in Yuma, Arizona this quarter. The test put the parachute through 85% of its maximum rated load and examined a different opening sequence, also called reefing, for the parachute. The third main parachute is being made for a cluster test in mid-April, where the full array of three parachutes will be evaluated for first stage. The parachutes are made of long strips of ribbon stitched together to form the final parachute. Test firing of a solid rocket motor in November gave Ares engineers new data on the acoustic environment generated by the motor during firing. Other test objectives of this firing included testing a low temperature O-ring material and radiometric measurements of the motor plume. Testing continued in November on the ascent thrust vector controller for Ares 1X. The latest hardware unit tested is identical in form and function to the final unit that will be used on the flight test in 2009. This quarter, ATK completed assembly of a first stage nozzle. One of the notable advances is a new carbon fiber rope used to reduce processing time and expense over the methods currently used on the space shuttle. The assembly allowed engineers to verify how all the components fit together and to test all their processes before hardware is built for hot fire testing. ATK also began assembly this quarter on the first five segment motors for the Ares 1. The new insulation material reported on last year is more eco-friendly and safer to handle for workers. It is also lighter, which allows Ares engineers to increase propellant and performance. Upper stage hardware is also being manufactured now with the formation of the first gore panels for the liquid hydrogen tank dome. These panels are stretched, heat cured, and then stretched again into the needed shape. These initial panels are intended to test those processes, as well as the material properties of the panels. Evaluation and checkout of the new robotic weld tool at Marshall continued this quarter. Preliminary testing is done on the smaller process development system before moving work onto the larger robotic weld tool. A new vertical weld tool was built for use on Ares 1. This tool allows upper stage manufacturing issues to be worked out at Marshall before production begins at Michoud Assembly Facility in Louisiana. Major components of the tool began arriving at Marshall in December, with system checkout expected in early spring 2008. Engineers have begun bench-level pressure and leak valve testing using Heritage Saturn hardware. Lessons learned from these tests will aid engineers in the design of the upper stage main propulsion system. Testing continued this quarter on subscale diffuser hardware for the new A3 test stand. The diffuser will reduce pressure at the J2X nozzle to simulate high altitude starts. Work continues on the construction of test stand A3. The concrete main foundation was poured in a continuous 14-hour operation in December. Nearby at test stand A1, the J2X began power pack testing in December. Engineers did a complete status check of the facility and the power pack. Cold flow testing was conducted by running the cryogenic fuels through the system without igniting them. The gas generators were also tested with a helium spin start. Join us next quarter for progress reports on first stage test stand modifications, 
propellant loading of the solid rocket motor and hot fire testing of the J2X. If you would like more information about ARIES plans and progress, please visit us on the web at nasa.gov slash ARIES.